guys, it's Julie. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and we're going to be doing part three of the Shop With Me series where I go to Hobby Lobby today. I'm really excited. Um, we're going to see what kind of ornaments and small knickknacks and office supplies and a whole bunch of things we can find um, really inexpensively, see what options they have. I'm going to take videos, I'm going to take pictures like I've done before. I'm going to go with my sister this time, so that's really exciting. Um, yeah, and we're just going to see. Hopefully I can find some stuff for some of my office mates. Um, I'm hoping that because it isn't December yet, they might have, fingers crossed, they might have some discounted stuff maybe um, from like fall discounted stuff that you could throw in for Christmas gifts, potentially. Hopefully we find some really cool stuff. Also... We put up our Christmas tree. So I wanted to show you guys um, the latest ornament that we got off of this website called Personalized Mall something. I think it's like personalizedmall.com where you can order personalized ornaments. You know, so they have different styles and you can put names on them and pictures and a whole bunch of stuff. So this is what it says. It says, love our favorite hello and hardest goodbye, Chloe, 2016 to 2019. Here, let me take the light off. There you go. But yeah, it, it just, it turned out so good and really um, excited to start the holiday season. Hopefully things will end up in like the next like a step up because it's, it's been kind of a rough year so i'm trying to get into the spirit I'm really excited um so hopefully um we can find some really cool stuff today at hobby lobby and we can have a really good time and hopefully it's inexpensive and we can get you guys some options to save money but yet um you know give your loved ones or people that you work with something nice so let's uh let's just see what we find
So, it's later on in the day, and actually it's evening, and we actually found tons of ornaments. They had this really interesting um, Santa, it almost looked like a roulette thing, I'm not really sure what it's called, but basically um, you spin the wheel and it tells you, like you guess how many days are left for Christmas. They had really cute cookie jars that you could get. They had tons of different types of ornaments, of course. They had some that were inexpensive, some that were very expensive. They had all the name brands. They had, you know, really oddball ornaments where you could get like a piece of pizza or they had traditional stuff. They had stuff for newlyweds. They had stuff for new babies. They had all that kind of stuff. They had Christmas trees. Um, a really good idea that my sister came up with was they had really cute, inexpensive coffee m mugs. You could get a coffee mug and put inside of it some Christmas socks and maybe a couple candy canes or something like that, and that could be really inexpensive. The coffee cups were only like maybe 5 or $10 at most, and same thing with the socks. So again, it depends on your prices. It depends on who you're buying for. And then uh, we found, you know, they didn't have a lot of discounted fall stuff. They only had a few things. So that's not really a big option, at least where I live. Um, and it was a new location, so it was crazy and hectic, and there were people everywhere, and parking was a nightmare, and it's just the holiday spirit. It's just holiday time of year where everyone's shopping, and it was just crazy. So, but yeah, and I, I figured I could, I could combine some of the baskets that I found at Dollar Tree um, with some options at Hobby Lobby and at Target so we could do all of it for the Christmas office gift ideas. Um, they definitely had generic stuff like they had candy, they had, you know, you could buy like picture frames that were discounted, you could do some, um, some home decor that was kind of Christmassy, they had make your own ornaments, they had that kind of stuff for like more for like kids, but you could definitely do it for your office mates. And then they also had um, a lot of outdoor stuff. They had tons of outdoor decor that was very beautiful but very expensive. And it's just, to me, in my budget, which is very tight, uh, it's, it wasn't worth it. Um, in my mind, very, very beautiful. And they had ceramic, uh, the nativity, all that kind of stuff, very expensive. Their Christmas trees are very expensive, very, very expensive. They had one that was um, rotating, so it rotated in a circle. And then um, they had an entire section of nutcrackers. They had special nutcrackers, they had traditional ones, they had really big ones, like huge ones that you could use for outdoor decor, and they had little ones, and tons of different types of cookie jars, and whole bunch of really neat things. So th there's definitely options for every person on your list, whether it's a coworker, a friend, a family member, someone who loves Star Wars. They had, you know, different types of stockings <laughs> that were Star Wars themed or just generic. They had kids stockings, um, whole bunch of things. So yeah, definitely keep Hobby Lobby on your list of options for the office Christmas gift ideas because they definitely have good options. They're a little bit more expensive, so keep that in mind. Um, if you're looking for something on a budget, it's definitely not going to be super budget friendly, but I guess that just is all dependent on what your budget is. If you have a bigger budget, then I, you know, sky's the limit. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. But with me, I have so many people to buy for, and I'm new in my job. I've only been at my job for a year, less than a year. So I don't really want to spend a lot of money, so to me I'm going to do the baskets at Dollar Tree for a dollar, maybe a couple items from Target, but mostly everything from Dollar Tree because they do have quality stuff there. They might have nicer ornaments, so you could just do an ornament and that be your gift. And you could spend seven or eight dollars on an ornament or less at, Hob at Hobby Lobby. So keep that in mind. Hobby Lobby is a very good option. Um, the one that I went to was packed and crazy and... But you know, but it was like Christmas puked everywhere, which is what I love, and it was a lot of fun. Um, so, de and they had tons of like boxes and different things that you can put candy in and all of that kind of stuff. So definitely, 
Um, keep that in mind on when you're doing your races, holiday shopping. Hobby Lobby is an option. You don't have to just go to Dollar Tree, to Target, to Walmart. Hobby Lobby is a really good option too. Um, especially with crafty people in your life who really appreciate that type of stuff. Like it's, it's definitely a good option. Um, my next video, I'm going to be going to Walmart and we're going to see what kind of options. I'm assuming we're going to have sky's the limit types of option at Walmart because they're going to have clothes. They're going to have, I mean, a small section of ornaments. They're going to have some decor. They're going to have tons of office stuff. I'm curious what kind of Christmas office stuff they have available. So that'll be my next video. Hopefully some of these videos are actually helpful that you, the way you can see what's available at these stores and instead of driving all the way out there and wasting your time looking around like you can be like oh well I know that they don't have this or the ones in this parts of the country don't have these kinds of options so hopefully this is all helpful that's my whole point is to give you ideas and to save you from having to drive across town or to a different city if they don't have these things where you live that was my Hobby Lobby trip it was really really eventful um, found lots of really good stuff so definitely check them out they have tons of Christmas stuff right now so go <laughs> now is the time to go to Hobby Lobby and just enjoy it so if you like this video hit the like button please subscribe I would love it if you'd leave a comment you can tell me your favorite thing from Hobby Lobby especially around this time of year that you like that you look forward to seeing or your favorite activity thing like if you like to go buy ornaments at Hobby Lobby that kind of stuff I'd love to know about it and um, I'll see you guys in my next video okay bye guys <laughs>